We're going to my uh, buddy's gun shop. So when you see me shooting machine guns, that's where we do it at. Well, then I got to go do the interview with ESPN. Bro, I've, I've never been gifted a gun before. It's nice. <laughs> oh, that is so dope, dude. Bro, this is dope. Man, this is, this is epic, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Dope, dude. But I figured you'd like that. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. I don't generally like gifts. I make a lot of money. Anything I want to buy, I could buy myself, dude. But thank you, bro. It like, makes me a little emotional, dude. This is going on my wall. Don't want to break in my house. Ah, <laughs> oh, Max Rossi, look at this big man. Good to see you, man. My man, dude. Good to, good to see you, man. Oh, here we are. Let's do it. So how did you two first have an interaction? I was at a fight. There was this gigantic man in the audience saying, like, kill them more or less and I was like I like this guy I seen him fight at the apex and I think I DM'd you after the fight I'm like you're, you're yeah. a savage bro keep doing your thing you know Max you are a staple at UFC fights when you watch Sean fight and as you see him just a couple of days before he puts his world title on the line I mean what goes through your mind I just get fired up for him. I know how big it is, the biggest fight of your life defending your title I already know there's the beef behind it there's drama behind it and I cannot wait to watch it and I know he's gonna be at his yeah. best you know what it is I never really like focus on the win. I just want to fight. Just want to fight. So it's never really about winning or losing. It's just about being a f hand and going in and just letting the hands go. So I'm excited, man. I'm gonna be stoked you're watching it, bro. I mean, like, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yeah. We are Jim here at Primal Academy. We obviously come in quite a bit earlier because of the time zone and we went on lookout for some of our children. These, these folks have been absolutely incredible at, at Primal Academy. Beautiful setup they have here, proper old school basement uh, MMA area, it's amazing. All righty. Having Drake is here training with, with Mark and uh, his guys has been, has been awesome. You know, having, a, having an athlete of his caliber, you know, we've had a number of professional athletes in here over the years, but uh, it's, it's, it's never uh, any less in incredible rubbing shoulders with some of the best in the world in, in, in their discipline. Being around somebody like that uh, uh, has been amazing for, for us, the coaches, and, and, and the members here. We've got the airport agent coaches just let us know Marky has a fight on the 19th, the day before my fight. And uh, you know, me, me and Marky, we've been working together for a very long time. I mean, that is stars aligning perfectly. Obviously, we heard that Dana White is going to be at his fight. Even more perfect. Uh, there's, there's no way you look at this guy fighting and not signing. The next big thing to come out of Team CIT in Pretoria, next uh, UFC fighter out of South Africa. Ten seconds, ten seconds. So today was a pretty normal session still. The big part now is not losing anything and, and keeping the eye sharp. Everything that was perfect when we left stays perfect up until fight night and even more perfect. Cara, é incrível. Você chega, abre a porta, você já vê um monte de campeão, você já se inspira na hora. É um lugar fantástico. É a Academia de Campeões, é o lugar onde eu quero ser campeã. E aqui é o campeão tem que estar aqui. Se você quer ser campeão, você tem que estar treinar aqui. Eu queria toda a energia positiva de vocês, eu gostaria de toda a energia, sentir que vocês estão comigo. Então eu conto com a energia positiva de todos vocês e eu prometo dar um grande show. Você vai descrever Myra como uma finishing machine. Ela é a cowboy Cerrone da female division. É sempre um grande show quando Myra está lutando. E esse não será diferente, ela está pronta, 100%. Vamos, me pega, me bate, mas vai ser campeã. One, two, three. I woke up today like 30 more minutes. That's all I got. I was looking at bed, I was like 30 more minutes and I'm done. I love fighting, I love training. I hate camps though. Like, 
Chris has been a, a, a shining moment in this gym. To be able to see him realize his goals um, and, and to see him be able to beat Phil Haas on short notice and kind of springboard him into the career that he's had today, I think it's just a, a testament to not only the hard work this guy's put in, but the self-belief. He's had a great camp, man. I'm super excited for this fight and can't wait to get to Toronto. I like Mark andre uh, I'm hoping he fights like Mark andre He comes out and he fights like a man. I really don't want to chase him. I'm honestly trying to put on a really good show for the Toronto fans. I try not to learn too much from Sean, but uh, he does have a good mindset. He's like, man, you know, your biggest thing is you worry too much about winning. He's like, get back to having fun, man. Get back to fighting. So the plan, which is we're going to go fight some like, fight in Canada and go beat some people up. For me, it's really cool. Like, you know, my first main car on a pay-per-view. It's, you know, Sean's first how to fit. So uh, let's make it two for two. Push it, push it. Push it harder, come on. All the way, all the way, all the way. So today we came here to the lovely uh, UFC PI in Las Vegas and Sean got the last hard training session in right before his fight. A lot of striking, a lot of heavy punches thrown, a lot of kicks. Work times go. Sean loves to strike, he loves to put his hands on somebody and Sean's just in there being him, you know, fighting how he loves to fight. They're just in there trying to help each other, trying to push each other, trying to, trying to fight each other, you know, to get better. As the old adage goes, iron sharpens iron and they display that today. Let's go, let's go champs. Let's go, let's go champs. Yeah, see, that's proper. This is snow. No, I don't know snow. So that looked pretty intense. It was, it was uh, like something we see in the movies, but I'm loving Toronto and I uh, can't wait till uh, fight night and then after the fight to really enjoy the city for what it has to offer. I can't believe it. It feels like yesterday that everything got announced and here we are a week out from, from the fight, feeling absolutely great and, and ready for this. This is absolutely incredible. I can't even comprehend how amazing this feels. Just to be here, just to be one week away from realizing a dream, a goal, and something that I've been working towards for a very, very long time. This is history in the making for myself, for my country. This is something so much bigger than me. Me coming from South Africa, living in South Africa, my whole team uh, coming from, from Africa and South Africa, training on our home soil and uh, becoming UFC champion. That's extraordinary. That is defying the odds and that is what legacy is made of. That's what I wanted to be remembered forever. I might perish, but that, that record book will never. That history book will always be written and uh, it will be set in stone.